Good day, everyone. Welcome to my channel, BST African Electronic Surgery. And it's a Wednesday. Let's fix something. Yeah, I'm kind of tired. I was fixing things like the whole day. And you know what? People, they are coming with a, like a device, 40 devices with the basic faults, screen replacement jobs. You know, those basic stuff which I can't upload on YouTube. So I'm really sorry. I didn't go anywhere. So what is this? This is a, some kind of DVD player. It's Samsung DVD player. Uh, model E360. And uh, it came in as no power. I think what we can do is to take out the screws and we try to get inside this to see why this thing is not turning on. Let's check together and see why this thing is not turning on. So we are inside our, our DVD player. We, we have this CD, CD drive. We do have the logic board, that the power supply. Okay. no bulged capacitors like usual so it's unfortunate today i don't think i can't see any blown up component everything seems fine all what i can see this looks like some time ago was once a territory for cockroaches i can see some 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 dirty marks which were left by cockroaches. So we have to plug in and check some things. Let's plug in on power. Power plugged in. AC in, obviously that's the first step. Two thirty. Okay. What about? Do you have the switch here? I think we must have some numbers here. And I can't see anything. You see? I can't see anything on display. It's just dead. Okay. So, what can be fault here? What can be fault? What do you think is the problem? Let's see if we have any voltage on the... Where's the USB port? We do have the USB port here. We can take ground from the USB port. And... Wind bolt, that is the BIOS. Let's see if we have any voltage on the logic board. Next to the BIOS, we do have the regulator. We have nothing. Why? Yeah, that's ground. We have some ceramic capacitors. Nothing. So, even on the controller, the, main, the processor, we have nothing. So, I'm checking here. That's the logic port. We have the BIOS or the EPROM IC on pin number 8, the VCC pin. We must have something there. And we have nothing. So, what can be fault? What can be fault? An idea on what can be fault here. What can be fault?
I think we need to check the power supply. Let's unplug the charger. We need to check the power supply because if it's not taking turning on, something is not right on the power supply side. Something is not right. How do I take this power supply out? Okay. Hope I'm not destroying. Because we are here to fix, not to destroy. Hope I'm doing the right thing here. Okay, the front panel is coming out, we have some clips, and What is holding this power supply? Maybe we can see something on the other side. Why? Okay, what did I told you? What is this? You see the cockroach? But the problem, so what is the problem here? What is the problem here? an idea what is the so let's see what's going on here that's the power supply for the samsung dvd player we have the ac in jack here and uh, this brown thing i believe this is the fuse yeah that's the fuse six amps fuse and uh, after that we have this inductor coil to boost the AC. And that AC is coming straight to those. You, have, you can see we have two dials, two dials here, which are changing AC to DC. After that, after the dials, where our power is going, we have these two big capacitor in parallel mode which I believe they are filtering the DC voltage after the, the rectifier and that's the driver here we have ferret ferret, ferret transformer and after that we have those uh, Probably those dials on the output, like scotch, 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 scotch diodes, if, we, if that's the name, which are acting as a rectifier on the output to provide the necessary voltage which are needed. We have 5 volts, 3.3, and 12 volts. So What we can check, let's put in diet mode and check some things. 
obvious while checking the fuse was here we do have the fuse here no the fuse is not good this fuse is not good So why did the fuse blown up? Why? After the fuse, we have these four diodes. I'll check those diodes which are this diode is short zero zero. This one good. Good. good we have like two diodes showing shorts so let's let's take out let's take out those diodes let's take the first one Okay, let's see why that diode is reading a short. Yeah, this diode is not good. We still have one more shorted diode. We still have one more shorted diode. So now you see why the fuse is blown was blown up. Because of uh, of those diodes which are acting as the rectifier. Which are acting as the rectifier. We have to bring this thing to life. We have to fix this. So the question is how did this happen? Why? Why did these diodes get shorted? Let's check for short again. Do we still have a short on the board? No. On these diodes. This short this short so I believe what happened here because I can see some some residues from the cockroaches so you know cockroaches they are playing inside and there's a lot of currents and some voltages there bad things can happen that's the explanation that I can give why this thing, why such kind of thing happen. Now, we need those diodes. Now we need those diodes. Hopefully I'm able to find something. Dios, Dios, Dios.
it's hard to find just tutorials. Yeah, I found dials from this TV board. See those four dials? We only need two. All what we want is two. We don't need all of them. One second. Let's see now. Let's see now. We need only two dials here. We need only two dials here. Only two dials. That's what we need. Let's check for those dials which I took out. The dials looks fine. Now all what you need is to is to replace those dials. Was they are doing something? I just took diode from another switching power supply, doing same thing, same job. Doing same job. Hopefully that will solve the problem. Good. Now, the last one. Uh, it's quite late. I need to go and rest, but we have to fix this. That is the last repair of today. I'm quite, 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 quite tired. So, hopefully, everyone is doing well. Our dials are in place, so we need to check if we did the proper solder here. Okay. Just to confirm the solder that we've done here. 
Well, the pins looks too short. The pins look smaller. I think we are good now. What do you think? Yeah, our dices are now okay. Now, we have to fix the fuse. Let's come with our own fuse. How we are fixing fuse? How we are fixing a fuse? In idea, let's come with our own fuse here. A fuse is a wire, true. That's very true. Our own fuse. Hopefully we don't have a secondary fault. Hopefully we don't have a secondary fault. I think we are ready to test. I think we are ready to test. Let's see what's going on. Let's put back all together and test. Let's put back all together and test. I'm curious to see if we now have a working DVD player. AC in. This front cover. Okay. Hopefully, it's now working. Hopefully it's not working. So, how is everyone? Hope you are fixing different kind of devices wherever you are. Now is that moment which I fear to plug it on power because if you miss something, If we have missed something here, bad things will happen. Now I'm plugging it on power. Nothing blown up. Okay. 
on and it's working check here loading no disk it's working i can't believe the problem i don't know how i will test this let's see maybe when test Maybe we can test. I'm still waiting for something on the display. We have the display meter here. If this display is communicating with my flash. Okay. Injecting. Okay. Okay. What I would do just to confirm that this USB flash is working, this port is working up. I'll look for a flash with the light. To see if my 5 volts is passing to the USB. Other, otherwise, the job is done already. Just to confirm. Just to confirm. You see this light? Check this light. Which is flashing. You see that flashing light? So, everything is fine here. We don't, I don't have disk. But uh, what, what you can do, there's nothing that I can do more. But the thing is, you have seen how you can fix a switching power supply. Be it on TV, on DVD players, on subwoofers, on anything. All what you need to know is to know how to apply the basics in order to, to fix many things. You have to know how a switching power supply is working. So, what was our problem? Those diodes. See those diodes? We shot it. And obviously our fuse. Now if I'm to check on the logic board. Just to see what kind of voltages do we have on the. On this logic board. For the case of tomorrow. But our job is done. On the VCC. 3.25 we checked the year before there was no voltage and uh, there was a regulator here 1.25 and 3.4 okay this is a regulator which is outputting 1.25 okay three volts five volts so we now have voltage on the output so obvious i'll put back all the screws together like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell also share our videos to beloved friends and relatives
and uh, I'll try to upload as many videos as I can, provided that the videos have something to learn. I can't upload videos replacing charging ports or LCD replacement on phones because. 70% of my job today, every day nowadays, is screen replacement, batteries, charging ports, which is boring stuff. So, see you on the next one. Bye.